Hello again, everybody. So as promised, we're going to go on a virtual trip in Miss Cloten's camper van from her driveway to one of the counties in England. I know it's a bit mad. It's basically an excuse for me to sit in my camper van. But anyway, uh, today we're going to go to County Durham. So this map's not brilliant, but hopefully you can see the shape of the UK. So roughly we're here in Cambridgeshire. We're going to scoot north probably on the a1 up to this region so we're in the northeast of england and county durham is in the northeast of england um as i said on the introductory one um i was born in county durham and i grew up there and i went to school there so i know a lot about it uh, geographically it is so different to this part of the world where we live now um, and as you drive north you would see a change in the scenery as well. So County Durham has on the east coast it um, it borders the uh, North Sea so you've got coastline and then to the west of the county it's much more hilly and it's quite bleak so there, there's not a great deal of um, vegetation there's lots of heather there's lots of sort of rough patches of grass lots of sheep grazing they wander around they just walk onto the road when you're trying to drive around um, and you have to kind of beep to make them get out of the way um, I think it's beautiful it's not everybody's cup of tea but I do like that part of the county um, in that part of the county is where one of the major rivers in County Durham um, has its source at a place called Weir Head. Uh, so that's like the head of the River Weir. And the River Weir is the river that flows eventually through the county town of County Durham. So that's the city of Durham. And Durham is a beautiful city. It's like Cambridge, but with hills um, is how I like to think of um, how to compare it. Um, it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Uh, the river is quite wide by then and it meanders around the city. The city's quite hilly and on one of the hills is the most beautiful cathedral. Um, that, so Durham Cathedral is over 900 years old. It's a, it's a beautiful building, a World Heritage Site. Um, it's actually uh, been used in the Harry Potter films to um, film some of the exterior and interior shots of Hogwarts so when you visit now when I go with my family now it's quite funny that as you walk through some parts of it there's one part called the cloisters and it you can tell it's straight from the film it's quite exciting to be there um, anyway then the river Weir flows from the city of Durham it flows out towards the sea it goes through a place called Chesley Street so cricket fans out there uh, that's where the county cricket ground is the Riverside uh, ground so you might have seen that on the telly and then it flows out to the sea uh, in a town called Sunderland which is where I was actually born Sunderland used to be in the county of Durham it's now in the county of called, called Tynan Weir um, but that's actually where I where I was born and then my family later moved to Durham. Interesting fact about where I lived in Durham, I grew up in part of Durham called Neville's Cross and the reason it's called Neville's Cross is there's a stone cross there to commemorate the Battle of Neville's Cross which was a battle between Scotland and England. Uh, it took place in 13, I'm just checking my notes, 1346 um, and at that time um, Scotland was always trying to take over part of England and England was trying to take over part of Scotland and actually the Battle of Neville's Cross was quite a significant one. Uh, the English army were a little bit weaker at that time because many of them were fighting, many of the, of the soldiers were fighting in France. So Scotland tried to take advantage but the English won at the Battle of Neville's Cross. Interesting facts with Miss Cloughton. Other things you can see and do in County Durham, you need to look on the school website in the learning home learning hub i've made some information uh, slides to go with these little videos um so on the slides i've put website links um so you can copy them into the into your browser and then have a look so one thing you might like to look at is a video of a really impressive waterfall in county durham called high force 
it's stunning and it's so noisy when you actually go there you can stand right at the base of it and there's also a walk you can do which I've done with my family where you can go kind of and almost look at it from above um, and it's just the water just surges and surges over that's not the river Weir that's the river Tees which is another river in the county of Durham Another place you can visit is a brilliant open air museum called Beamish. Uh, we used to go on school trips there when I was when I was in junior school, in primary school. Um, I just love it there and I've got a little bit of a claim to fame about Beamish Museum. So if you do ever visit it or if you look at it on websites, um, it's it's kind of like an old fashioned town. And, and what they've done is they took actual cottages and buildings from the local area and they they moved them brick by brick to the museum so there's actually a cottage that my gran lived in when she was a little girl that got moved brick by brick to Beamish Museum and we've been in it as a family I've been in there with my mum I've been in there with my gran as well which was really weird uh, for her um, and they and they reenact what life would have been like several years ago um, so it's like stepping back in time all the transport is like it would have been then and even the way that you pay for things in the shops is like it would have been uh, in the past so that's another good place to visit um, forgot to say earlier on how long it would take to get to County Durham from here so on route planner uh, it would take approximately three and a half hours drive time um, that's without any stops um, and it's approximately 213 miles, something like that. That's probably to the city of Durham, but obviously the county is wider than that. I'm just checking my notes that I haven't forgotten to say anything. Spectacles on. Um, I think that was it. Oh, I was just going to tell you one, another mild claim to fame. So one of the things that Miss Cloten used to do when she was younger, there used to be an ice rink in Durham that was down beside the river in the city of Durham it's not there now but that's what we used to do when I was kind of 12 13 years old we'd go to the ice rink me and my friends would go every week um, and they had quite a, a successful ice hockey team there as well so my claim to fame is that my uncle Ian um, used to play ice hockey and he actually got to play for the great British team he had no teeth when I knew him he wasn't playing ice hockey then, he was much older. He had no teeth because when they played ice hockey, when he played ice hockey, they didn't wear proper helmets and visors and gum shields like they do now. And he lost his teeth from playing ice hockey, either by being hit with a stick or elbows. It's quite a rough game. So anyway, there you go. Little claim to fame from Miss Cloten. A little bit of history and geography about County Durham. I'll be back soon with our next county. We're going to move on to another one, another C1, County Durham. Uh, we're going to go to Cheshire next. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.